Justin went in the I joint account. I had mistakenly sent $5,000 there for rent and a, a, a bunch of, I sent it for my PayPal. I didn't know that the account linked to the PayPal was still the joint account. He emptied the, the account and he's, he has not, downright stolen from me. This is daylight robbery. We're separated and he, he, he has stolen from me and my girls blatantly i message him hey can you please return this money that you have stolen from me and my girls and he said trying to accuse me of stealing his gold or whatever i don't know what he's talking about but he just stole five thousand dollars from i and my girls we we have lawyer fees we have rent to pay at this point he wants us to be homeless at this point, what he wants is for us to be homeless, to be on the streets. Oh. Hi guys, welcome to Ada Vlog. I want to eat in my opinion and everybody is entitled to his opinion. I know how hard I live in abroad. I know how hard it is to live and survive in abroad, let alone being a single mom. I know how expensive it is to live in USA. Please, just regardless of whatsoever that happens or, you know, that leads to this or this saga, return back don't steal from her these kids are literally your kids she's training these kids for you and for for the for, for the sake of the family why are you taking her money I, i'm not interfering that's the, i know it's a family issue i'm not interfering but this one particularly all i have to say is please for christ and humanity's sake return back her money thank you let's watch the rest of the video don't forget to follow don't forget to subscribe to my page click on the notification bell to see you on my next video I did not want to speak about my divorce in public. It was a decision I made knowing that um, the internet never forgets and considering and putting my children first and not putting my need to clean things out first. Considering, considering my family, which are my kids, and not having the need to come and justify myself in public, let's put it at that. But at, at, at this juncture, um, I have no choice but to do what I'm doing right now. I'm, I've been working my, my face off um, because I've, been, I've just gotten my first lawyer's bill it's outrageous do you guys know how much a lawyer costs i did not envisage it i would be paying lawyer fees in la um i have gotten a lot of bills my rent my car note everything no problem i don't like to come on here to, I, I just do what i have to do for my kids and for my for myself but at this juncture being quiet is not helping me at all it's not helping me at all and I cannot continue being quiet. I'm not gonna be quiet anymore. I'm just gonna to have to say this. Today, Justin Dean, I, sp I sent mistakenly to the joint account, which I, that was the only account I had in America for three years until I opened my own personal account. He telling me I didn't need account, I don't need any account until one day he came home and told me get out of the house and emptied the account. I had nothing. That's when I knew I had to open my account. He, mommy. Mommy, it's a football. It's a football. Come, let's play. Okay. Justin went in the That's joint right account. Right. I had mistakenly sent $5,000 there for rent and a, a, a bunch of... I sent it for my PayPal. I didn't know that the account linked to the PayPal was still the joint account. He emptied the, the account and he's, he has not, downright stolen from me. This is daylight robbery. We're separated and he, he, he has stolen from me and my girls blatantly. I messaged him, hey, can you please return this money that you have stolen from me and my girls? And he said, trying to accuse me of stealing his gold or whatever. I don't know what he's talking about, but he just stole $5,000 from I and my girls. We, we have lawyer fees. We have rent to pay at this point he wants us to be homeless at this point what he wants is for us to be homeless to be on the streets all i'm doing is trying to create a home for my girls i don't want to be antagonized victimized and treated like a horse that is working for a slave master 
I don't want to be antagonized and victimized because this money was money I made for my for my promotions for my girls. I sent them to pay the rent. I sent it by mistake to the joint account. He has emptied the accounts. He has emptied my accounts. He's stealing from me at this point. And remember, he's not giving you money. For he's not food giving you any girls. money for the food, for the girls, nothing. I'm taking care of these girls by myself. And he's stealing from us. He should stop. I'm mistaken. He sent it to the joint the children. The children need milk. You wake up at night to feed them, but he's, he's not here. And he's stealing money from your account. I put that money by mistake. Okay. I put that money in the joint account by mistake. Okay. He has emptied the account now. I have to be strong. I know I have to be strong for my girls, but this is someone that comes online and is tarnishing my image. Tarnishing my reputation, tarnishing everything. And I, because I have been choosing to be silent, now he's taking advantage of it. He's taking advantage of it. He's taking advantage of me being silent because of my brand, being silent because of my children, being silent because I don't want to air a dirty linen in public. Now he's blatantly stealing. I didn't want to cry. I'm not crying. I need, I have reported to my lawyers. Um, they said I should send them the proof. So I sent them the, the screenshots of, of this. Um, he's blatantly stealing in, in, I am the one with the kids. I have the two girls. I have the two girls. I'm taking care of them. I'm taking care of the girls and He's basically stealing the money that I have never asked him for one cobble, one dime to feed the children. One dime I haven't asked. Let him give any of the gold that she took. Because there's no gold here. I'm the one cleaning everything out. Where's the gold? I don't know how much, how much the bill of a lawyer was. You're in court because of him. I'm right? in court because of him. There's a twenty-one thousand dollars so far bill in for the lawyer. I haven't even thought about how I'm going to pay that one. He is stealing the money that I am trying to make ends meet. I am here trying to make ends meet and he's stealing the money. I did not, I'm not going to go into the past. I did not want to talk about anything in my marriage, but at this point he is stealing in broad daylight. He is stealing from me, stealing from my children. I have a screenshot where he had transferred out the money to his checking account. And I have a screenshot of me sending him, please send the money back. And he's telling me, you, and he's telling me, you, you should, you should send me my money in gold. I don't even know what he's talking about. I don't know what he's talking about. I have no clue what he's saying. But at this point, I am no longer silent. I am going to come out and I'm going to talk about all the abuse. I'm going to talk about everything. If he keeps stealing from my girls, I will not. I will not sit here and watch a man take advantage of me and my girls. I will fight. I will fight with my last blood if he thinks he's gonna come and steal from me and my girls. I haven't done anything to deserve this. I'm not the first woman who is getting a divorce in America and I will not be the last. But I'm not gonna be silent anymore. If he go, if he does not return this money, if he doesn't this return this money, and I will come out with all my evidence. I will, I will show him for who he really is. No more, Mister Nice Guy. No more, Cora. The the quiet, mature Cora. That Cora is gone. I am gonna fight. Yes, I'm gonna fight for my children.
I'm not the, I'm a mother. I'm not I'm not a I'm gonna fight. Yes, I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight. So far, I have so much in lawyer debt, all because of this man. It was supposed to be something amicable. I'm not the first person to get a divorce. It's a no, no fault state. You go to the courts and you literally get divorced. Just like Vegas, you get married, you get divorced. He came and took my one month old and was feeding her air in a bottle when I was producing breast milk. He has stolen $5,000 from his girls right now. Sometimes you just have to speak up because sometimes silence is becoming, uh, is becoming, he's taking advantage of it. He's taking advantage of the fact that I am, a, I am a brand. I don't want to say, I don't want to tarnish my image. My image is already tarnished. He has rubbed me in the mud. I have said nothing about him, but I will talk now. If he thinks that this is the, this, this is just beginning. It is just beginning. I am going to speak. This will be the worst $5,000 he has ever stolen in his life. I'm going to speak now. I am going to speak. Because I have his children. I'm taking fantastic care of them. He is loading me up on law in lawyer debts. He's loading me. He's stealing from the joint account. Everything he has asked for, I've given him. He wants to see the kids. He's seen them. Seeing that I'm not, I'm being the best that I can be. And yet, yet, he's still stealing from me. Because I'm keeping quiet. Because I'm keeping quiet. Because I'm, I'm mute. I'm not the first to be divorced. And I won't be the last. But I will be damned if he steals from me and my girls. I will be damned because the Lord that I serve will not let that happen. I don't know. Why he thinks it's okay? A man stealing from a woman that has two of his children. Stealing. Which kind of a man cannot provide for his children? Not a dime. He's, from the woman. he's stealing. I'm not asking him for one cupboard to take care of the kids. He's the one trying to steal from me. He should actually pay you for paying for taking care of the kids. You are a woman for God's sake. Where are, where are the men here? He's tarnishing your name at the same time. He takes the money you make. He goes online, cries out for sympathy. But what he did to you is even worse. People don't know. So you should shut up. I'm not going to keep quiet anymore. And I will come out with everything. I will come out with everything. I'm no longer mute. I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk yeah, because he's, he's taking advantage of this. He's taking oh, advantage of it. He's taking advantage mm -hmm. of the silence and I'm not going to keep quiet anymore. If he does not return that money by tomorrow, in the morning I will wake up and I will do a live and I will detail everything that he has done in this and what has led us here. I will do a live and I will tell my story tomorrow if he does not send that money back. He's now suffering because he's his money machine is gone, so he can't say. His money machine is gone. He's 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 horse for the for the for the for the for the race races. He's slave. Wow. He wants to get at me. Yes, he wants to get at me, but I will push back. I'm no longer keeping quiet. Thank you guys for all the strong woman, strong woman, strong woman. Thank you. I'm talking. This will be the worst 5,000, the last money he will ever steal from me again. Before we left, before we, by tomorrow, if I don't see my money in my account, I'm going to come out and I'm going to spill everything from A to Z. He has no authority over you. He doesn't feed you. He does not. For someone that is not feeding me or my girls to still be stealing from us. No, he should come out with what he wants. Actually, I man told you he wants to see the kids. He's seen the kids. He wants tomorrow. to see the kids. He's seen and the kids he, tomorrow. And then what does he want? Let him come out with what he wants. You will give it to him and then he will have peace. I'm tired of seeing you cry. 
I'm no longer crying. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna spill. I'm gonna. I'm gonna spill. He wants to tear me down. <laughs> he has done his worst. He has said I've slept to the whole world. He, there's nothing he had not done to try to tear me down. But I did not make myself. So I cannot. He cannot tear what he didn't make. He cannot tear what he did not make. And God is saying that he has stolen from me and my girls. And I'm no longer going to be quiet. I was very quiet for the sake of my children. But tomorrow I will tell my story. If he doesn't send that money, he, I'm not going to say. I'm just going to tell my story. We are still in the process of mediation. We have not come to any conclusions. And I woke up in the morning and he has transferred money that I mistakenly sent to the joint account for rent. He transferred it out and it's, it's zero dollars there now. Zero dollars there. Yet, we'll come online and cry. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Cora is taking my children from me. He wants the kids. He's getting them. He's getting the kids. Why is he stealing from Beth? The, I've not asked him for anything. I'm no longer quiet. I have my voice and I will use it for my girls. I will use my voice for my girls. This is the end. <laughs> This is the end. He has done the last to me. He has done the last to me. This is the last thing he will do to me. I was going to be quiet. I was keeping quiet. I was keeping quiet for my health, for my girls. I am breastfeeding. My child is two months old. Barely two months old. I am taking care of a newborn and a toddler by myself. I just had help not too long ago. I just had help not too long ago. This man is waking up to steal. If he was a human being, I would be crying, but I know that I'm not dealing with a human being. I'm dealing with a monster. If he does not send that money back by tomorrow, every dance is gonna be online of everything that he has been doing. I'm no longer keeping quiet. My name is already on the, in the mud. Let us drag ourselves together. 